What's up everyone, it's Kelly and today I've got another swatch and review for you. So today I'm partnering up with KB Shimmer to show you their new Seeing is Believing collection. Now if you haven't heard of KB Shimmer before, they are an independent nail polish brand that is based in the US, but they are available internationally and all of their polishes are five free, meaning they are free of five of the potentially harmful ingredients that can be found in nail polish. They are vegan, meaning they do not use any animal derived ingredients and they're also cruelty free, meaning they do not test their products on animals. So this new collection has nine brand new sea inspired nail polishes and we've got a really beautiful variety of finishes and colors here. And let me tell you, I'm very excited about these because they're just making me crave the warmer weather. But let's get into the swatches first, then I can talk a little bit more about my thoughts on them and then we can get into pricing, availability, all that good stuff. So roll the swatch footage. So as with all of my swatch review videos, I am using base coat underneath all of my swatches just to protect my natural nail and prevent knee stains. Today I'm using the KB Shimmer base coat. We'll start off with the shade I'll Be There. This one is a really gorgeous ocean blue jelly base and it is absolutely packed with iridescent flakies. And we've got a few different shades in here, but primarily the colors that I'm seeing from those iridescent flakies are a really soft golden color and then also a little bit of green, which I think is kind of that gold blending in with the blue base. But let me tell you, these iridescent flakies look so much like little fish scales or mermaid scales, especially that big one on the bottom left that I instantly fell in love with this. It just feels like the perfect oceanic manicure. Next up, we have the shade Current Affairs. This is another blue, but it's very different. We've got a much cooler blue tone here. And this is a really stunning shimmer that has a little bit of a duochrome color going on. So at certain angles, I can see a lot of this turquoise color, but then at other angles, I'm seeing this deep, almost royal blue kind of shade and then that base blue almost has like a tinge of a purpley undertone to it plus we have the classic KB shimmer silver hollow flake in there that I always like to call like a little diamond fleck hollow and this one gave me perfect coverage in two coats it's such a stunning shade I feel like this type of blue I could really make work for any time of year but it does feel like a great springy color next up we have get off my tail and this one is a purple purple shimmer, very similar formula to Current Affairs, but we've got a totally different color going on here. We have this slightly warm purpley base, and then we have a gorgeous duochrome shimmer, again, that shifts from this sort of turquoise blue into a more royal blue, but we also see a little bit of like a purpley indigo kind of color in there, again, with those gorgeous diamond chip flecks in there. And this is just such a gorgeous shade. It's a little bit deeper than you normally see for spring purples, but I think it works so well, especially with the blue shine in there. It just looks so gorgeous. Moving on, we have Seeing is Believing. This one is described as a lavender base, and this one is totally packed with iridescent flakies. So there's a huge shift going on. The main colors that I see looking at my nails are this pinky into fuchsia kind of color that shifts into an orange into a gold. And then around the edges, I'm seeing a little bit of green and even blue, but having it in that lavender jelly base just makes all of the colors kind of pop out at once, just depending on how you're moving your nail around. So I love the coverage of this one in two coats. It really looks so stunning on the nails and it's just so colorful. Again, it's kind of like a fish scale vibe. Next up, we have the shade Shall We? And this one is a peachy neutral reflective shimmer. So we've got a ton of glitter going on in here. We have this stunning duochromy kind of shimmer that shifts from this peachy orange color into this golden yellow, as well as a little silver micro shimmer scattered throughout that gives this such a sandy look. It literally looks like sand on the beach sparkling in the light. And I think it's so beautiful. It really does feel like an elevated neutral kind of polish. It kind of blends in with my skin tone pretty well, but it still has all of that extra sparkle to make it so stunning. And since since it is a flash reactive shimmer, when you shine a flashlight or your camera flash on it, it just becomes unreal sparkly. So super stunning, definitely very sand vibes to me. Then we have the shade Dressed to Krill, and this one is a gorgeous hot pink shimmer. So within that hot pink base, we actually have another duochrome shimmer going on that shifts from this really beautiful purpley orchid color into a very vibrant 
fuchsia pink kind of shade. And I love that we have this combination of a warmer toned base with the cooler shimmer in there. But what I especially love is that this is such a super vibrant color. I really hate dusty pinks this time of year. So seeing a vibrant, bright, almost neon pink is just so perfect for me for this time of year. Then we have the shade, it comes in waves, and this is actually the cream finish of the collection. It's described as a light minty green cream, and this one is so vibrant. It's like an almost neon. It reminds me of the neon pastel shades that we see this time of year, but this one is just so beautiful. It's such a vibrant, saturated color, and the formula is incredible. It was almost a one coater on me, but I got perfect coverage in two. It was super smooth and self-leveling. I really love the KB Shimmer Cream formula. I don't have too many of them, but every time they come out with a new one, I get so excited. Next up, we have What a Pearl Wants, and this one is an iridescent flaky polish that does reach full coverage. And let me tell you, I always love this type of polish. KB Shimmer makes these, and I am always a sucker for them. I think they're stunning every time. And it's just one of those kinds of polishes that it doesn't matter how many coats you do, every single coat and every single way you can wear it is gorgeous. So I love the way this looks in one coat. I love the way it looks in two coats. It's full coverage in three coats and I also love that. It really just kind of depends on the mood that I'm going for, but it's such a stunning combination of colors and you really can see pretty much the whole rainbow in here. It's just a super soft, iridescent glow that shifts around and I see a lot of pink, I see orange, I see yellow, I see this sea green kind of color fading into this purpley blue shade and just every which way it hits the light it's so gorgeous and because it's a flake it's very multifaceted so you can see multiple colors at once which is so gorgeous. Again kind of given a little bit of like a scaly vibe but it definitely looks like a beautiful pearl on the nails. And this type of shade also works really well as a topper. I feel like I'm always showing these over black, but I was so curious to see what this looked like over It Comes in Waves. And I am just so stunned with how it looks. It's so beautiful. It really brings out that pink and yellow kind of coloring in there and it adds so much dimension. I just think it's such a cute combo. And last but definitely not least, we have the shade Superstar, which is a glitter topper. And this is arguably the most exciting polish in the release because this one actually has starfish shaped glitters in it. You heard me right, not star shaped, starfish shaped. You can see there's like a little bit of like a curviness to them that give it a more starfish kind of look. So there's a couple of different ways that you can apply this. You can just apply it as normal, which I just showed you. Or what I like to do with shaped glitters like this is you can paint on a very thin coat of kind of the background glitter. So I like to wipe off most of the product off of the brush and then just apply one kind of base coat. And then I go in with the bottle brush and I pick out the larger shaped glitters and I just place them on my nail where I want them to be. So there's definitely a lot going on in this topper. We've got this gorgeous iridescent shimmer that shifts from green into blue into purple as the base. And then we have a ton of different colors of holographic glitter. I'm seeing blue and purple and pink. And then we also have the silver holographic starfish shaped glitters, which is just the cutest thing ever. So I'm also showing you what it looks like over black. You can see just how much those iridescent shimmers come alive on the nail but it just really highlights how holographic everything is. It's super fun. I definitely want to play around with this more because I just love those shaped glitters. And here are all of the polishes together. I absolutely love this. I love this color story. There are just so many of my go-to shades in here, the blues, the purples, the pinky shades. And I just feel like this is the kind of color scheme that I'm always gravitating towards. So very excited about that, but I feel like it's also just so cohesive because it really shows you just all of the elements of like the beach and the ocean and that kind of feeling, which I think is such a fun inspiration for this time of year. It really feels like a great summery collection, but it also works really well for springtime. I feel like all of these colors are just the vibrant types of shades that we see in nature this time of year. And I think so many brands get that wrong because they always give us the very dusty neutral kind of shades. And I think this 
this time of year is when things start getting really vibrant and saturated. So really excited to see that from KB Shimmer. I think they did an incredible job with these colors. And of course the formula as always is amazing. I just love the way that these applied. They're always so easy to work with and they always give me an incredible looking manicure. So those are the polishes and I seriously loved these. I feel like this is just the perfect spring and summer kind of collection. It really feels perfect for the warmer weather. But what I really love about this collection and KB Shimmer in general is that it really feels like they make something for everyone. They always have such a nice variety of different options in their collections and each polish has just so much depth and kind of like layers to it where it just feels like there's so much going on in each polish but it doesn't feel overwhelming or too busy on the nails. So I feel like they just strike the perfect balance there and they just happen to make really beautiful colors. I've mentioned it a bunch of times before but KB Shimmer is truly the most beginner friendly formula. I think they're just so easy to apply and they're very smooth. The brush has that rounded tip so it just makes it easy to get into that cuticle area without messing up and they level out really nicely on the nails so even if you're a bit sloppy with it they still end up giving you such a perfect manicure. So it's always the brand that I recommend people dive into when they're first kind of dipping their toes into indies and also we'll talk more about the price in a minute but I just think that they're such a great price point for the quality and the type of pigments and shimmers and sparkles that you get in there. It's just overall a really incredible brand. So I, I really love KB Shimmer. <laughs> I also wanted to quickly make a note of that cream finish because it is just so incredible. I only have a few creams from KB Shimmer and I always think they're amazing. They're just so creamy, so opaque, and just very, very easy to use. So a very underrated formula from them. So now let's get into pricing. All these polishes come in 15 milliliter bottles. They do have a wide flat brush that has a rounded tip. Like I said, it just makes applications super easy and they retail for $12 USD each. So it's definitely a great price point, especially for the amount you get. 15 milliliters is pretty big for an indie brand. And I always like to mention their nail care products because those are also very well priced. The KB Shimmer Clearly on Top Quick Dry Top Coat is one of my favorite top coats of all time and it is super inexpensive and it is incredible quality. So if you're picking up stuff from their website, I highly recommend it. They also have a refill bottle. So I will link that down below. You can check it out if you're interested, but I'm curious to hear your thoughts on these. What do you think of the color story? What do you think of the different finishes? Which is your favorite? Leave it all in the comments. We can chat about it. And if you enjoy my swatch and review videos, please hit that like button. It really helps me out. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate if you could subscribe. I put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And of course, a huge shout out to my supporters on Patreon, my Royal Astronomer Amanda M, as well as my Cosmic Admirals Paula, Ken, Rosie, and Angel. I really appreciate your support and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Today's fun fact question comes from Patreon supporter Sabrina and Sabrina wants to know, do you collect anything outside of nail polish? I don't think I actively collect anything right now, but there are a lot of things that I have large collections of. I have a very large collection of crystals. <laughs> I actually have some in the background here on this little moon shelf. I don't know if you can see them, but I, I do have a, a pretty big collection outside of that. Those are just my little display ones. I have a ton of eyeshadow palettes. I'm a very big eyeshadow fan and I'm, I'm very much a palette person. I'm not really a single eyeshadow person. So I have a bunch of eyeshadow palettes. I also have a very large collection of supplies for bullet journaling, which is kind of just like a mix of journaling and having a planner and you kind of make it yourself. So I, I have a ton of supplies for that. And I, I feel like I have a very large collection of combat boots as well. That's something I have a large collection of. I feel like just shoes in general I have a lot of, but I don't know if that's considered collecting because I, I mean, Ryan actually collects sneakers and he has like a whole wall of sneakers but I I just like shoes so I, I buy a lot of them. <laughs> I also do like to collect pins. Like when I go on trips or vacations or whatever, I like to have like a little pin of where I went and I have a little pin flag that I keep them all on, but it's a small collection. I'm, I'm very much a person who likes to collect. I, I think it's pretty obvious that I like to have a lot of the things that I like. <laughs> so I'm definitely more prone to collecting. I'm not a minimalist in any sense of the word. But yeah, if anybody wants to share any collections that they have outside of nail polish, leave it in the comments. We can chat about it. It, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.